Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Merry Christmas, and uh, if you celebrated Hanukkah earlier, uh, Happy Hanukkah, I hope you had a great one. And if you're celebrating Kwanzaa starting tomorrow, uh, Happy Kwanzaa. And if you're not celebrating anything, Happy Saturday. See, it's win, 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 win. All right, so today I'm gonna be making the Christmas sandwich, and before you get excited for the cranberry and stuffing and all that stuff, uh, this is a different Christmas sandwich that I found online at midcenturymenu.com. You should go check that site out. It's from 1972's Consumer's Power, which I'm not sure if that's a cookbook or a pamphlet or what. I couldn't even find a cover for it, which is why you didn't see it spin up here. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like ground up bologna. Yes, it's ground up bologna. We add to that sharp cheddar cheese, grated onion, sweet pickle relish, salad dressing, I'm using Miracle Whip, and ketchup. Let me mix that all together. Then it says to put that on hamburger buns or English muffins. I opted for the English muffins because I'm more likely to eat those before they go bad. Now if I wrote this recipe, I would have had you toast the English muffins first, but I didn't write the recipe, so there it is. Then into the broiler to brown. Okay, so while that's browning, we're supposed to cut some cranberry, jellied cranberry sauce from a can into half inch slice, and then cut into shapes. What should we do? How about a star? Nailed it. Okay, with our sandwiches nicely browned, we add our shapes, jumping jack without a head, and uh, triangles. Yes, I'm that creative. Okay, let's give this Christmas sandwich a go. It's interesting. Again, the tang of the onion, and the cheese, and the bologna, it starts almost tastes like a hot dog, but the cranberry on top is just throwing me. I don't know about this. Um, I'm gonna see if I can plus it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of curry powder because I think that might play nice with all the ingredients in there. Could be a disaster. Okay, let's give this hopefully plussed up Christmas sandwich a go. That actually worked. It's working really well with the ketchup and the bologna and the onion and the cheese. And it's even working with the cranberry sauce. That's incredible. I didn't think that was gonna work to be honest. So the original sandwich, I'm gonna give probably a three. I just, all that stuff wasn't really working very well. To me, the curry powder kind of united everything and I think it got up to about seven and a half, actually. This is pretty tasty, I am gonna finish it, so. Huh, how about that? All right, well, Merry Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy Saturday. All right, see you next time. <laughs>